Keyword Research in 2016. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you different methods of doing keyword research and explain to you certain important factors that you should consider for your own keyword research. Rank your YouTube channel can be searched as in simply conduct the search on my channel for keyword research and I have some video tutorials that perhaps you'd like to watch after you watch this video tutorial okay for example keyword planner tool I've created a video tutorial that basically will allow you to learn how to use Google AdWords keyword planner tool, because that is very important to use because it gives you those additional insights so Keyword research in 2016, I've created a post and I thought, you know what, let me create a video and actually explain it and walk you through what I've shared in this blog post. Okay? First of all, remember, keyword research is nothing more than you identifying what your ideal audience is searching in Google search box. Yeah. You know how you should be using this right through the video tutorials that I have. The next part is that you need to make Google search box your friend. But perhaps you already knew this right. So let me show you things that perhaps you may not be aware of. Such as when you wrap keywords within double quotes, you're telling Google to bring results combining those two words together. So at this stage, you can then say A, B, C. So I've shown you, you how to do that in the other video tutorials, okay? Also, date-based searches may be of importance to you. But let's imagine that I've searched for keyword research and wrap those within double quotes. And then when I press on A, what I am seeing right now is Google's autocomplete search predictions give me you know, quick suggestions saying, you know what, as far as our platforms are concerned, other people are searching for these and because of your browsing history and search activity, perhaps you may be interested in these keywords. But you see, there could have been many different keywords starting with A. For example, let's go and search for Apple. Now it's not predicting anything because people don't search for keyword research and Apple. But perhaps in this screenshot, keyword re research application, now the predictions have changed. But I'm seeing something completely different as far as application, app store. Did we see that when we done just the A? No, we didn't. So what are we seeing now? We're seeing keyword ideas that we should be focusing on because these will be the most searched as far as keywords starting with A is concerned. Because we could do the same thing with, you know, letter B to see, okay, perhaps this is searched more and would I be interested in that? Now, at this stage, we're just seeing two, three words, which Google Keyword Planner tool will also reveal to us, right? Now, I'm, the reason I'm showing you this is because I'm going to bring it around to show you different things and let you know the importance of this. Now I could also place an asterisk and say, you know, that's an advanced search query wildcard operator. I'm telling Google to fill in the gaps for me. Now when I put that asterisk, it's gone ahead and show me different results. Now at this moment, if I'd like to target keyword research and another keyword, then I should be focusing on what I am seeing on the screen right now because I've utilized the asterisk symbol. 
now Google's saying, okay, if when I fill in the gaps, then this is what my platform results are showing me to show you. Because that's what people are searching the most. Now, as I've said, three words, keywords, as in three words, through three different words is a key phrase. But what if I end up saying, what if I wrap how to within double quotes? And then let's say, you know what, I'd like to create a blog post how to about WordPress as an example. I can wrap how to within double quotes, put the keyword WordPress, look at the suggestions, and what if I then say asterisks in between? Now I can see what I should be focusing on if I was to create something to do with WordPress and something to do with how to WordPress. But what if I then say fix? Now look at how many different keywords is this? Now, keyword planner tool is designed for pay per click advertising and not so much for SEO. Meaning, you won't find very long tailed keywords in Google Keyword Planner tool. It just won't show you. But experimenting with Google search box using advanced search queries such as wrapping keywords within double quotes and utilizing asterisks and experimenting with the search box like this, you can see quickly what keywords that you should be focusing on for your industry, okay? Now, while we're here, let's take a look at another example. Let's scroll down, yeah, related searches, we already know that, right? Related searches is down the bottom. You can perhaps explore that. But there is something else that you can do as far as advanced search operators are concerned. Simply change the sample keyword to be related to your industry and then conduct this type of keyword research. You can remove some, add some, no problems. Okay, I've got uh, more explanation, so I'm not going to explain that in detail. Just to tell you that you can, in a minute or two, conduct this type of search queries to see if there is any logs out on internet related to your industry coming from related websites. Because those logs may actually show you great keyword research ideas. Now, finally, define research. You can use Google search box as a dictionary. You can say, okay, Google, you know what? define what research is to me and for some search terms as in for some keywords it will show you what that word is about but it also shows you synonyms that you may consider using on your website because synonyms are related to words when you combine all that on your blog posts then Google can better understand what your website is about Another important factor that as you, you know, grow your online business, learn to anticipate. Anticipate news, updates, upcoming products, and so on. Upcoming services, upcoming something. Okay? Anticipation is the key. If you want to master keyword research, you basically need to learn to anticipate. Let me give you an example. Let's say SEO PDF 2016. Now, we just entered in 2016. That means in my, for my industry, in my industry, I can say, you know what? SEO PDF, you know, exploring the search box, I can see that, you know what? Yearly based searches are happening for this industry. But we just entered in 2016. So therefore, if I go in there, knowing that people will search for this, and knowing that in the start of 2016, I went in there and created the in, you know, information for those keywords, 
and I end up dominating the search results because it is more than unlikely that your competitors will get in there and have this as in, in their URLs and optimize their pages like the insights that I've shared with you. So learn to anticipate. It doesn't have to be you know, year-based search terms. It can be anything related to your industry. Okay? Learn to anticipate. Anticipate as to what people may search. Let me give you another example. Let's say movies. Let's say your website is about movies. Right? As an example, X-Files, you know, in 2016, they keep advertising saying new episodes, six new episodes for X-File fans. Right? So then, you, that's anticipation, right? You anticipate what people may be searching about that movie and those keywords. Perhaps, oh, behind the scenes, insights for X-Files in 2016 and so on. Get in there and create the content if your website was about movies. So, I've given you two, three different examples for anticipation. At the end of the day, keyword research it's very easy once you understand how to do it. And when you, you know, master keyword research through all these insights, coupled with anticipation, then before long, whatever industry that your website is about, you will dominate the internet scene. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please give me a like and share this video. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.